Hi guys, uh, Joe Miller, I'm here with uh, my coach Lee Cox. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, delving into the grip and uh, how it affects long drive and also uh, how regular golf is applied to it as well. So this is, uh, this is one of Joe's long drivers, um, a Callaway uh, two degree loft. And it has uh, many different things to a normal driver with the loft and the shaft length. But unusually, as we're talking about grip today, if we look at this end of the club, if that's a man's club, that's like a lady's grip, which is highly unusual. So if you look at um, uh, players over the years who are looking for control, Faldo was very famous for having nine or ten layers of tape under, but maybe not the biggest hitter for, for someone who was so big. Joe's at the reverse end. Now, he's trying to maximise power. This is a super thin grip. Golf pride, no layers of tape and made thinner than a normal grip. This man's trying to maximise his hand speed through the shot and his release pattern through the shot. So highly unusual for a big man to have a grip that thin. Um, as far as the positioning of the hands, Joe uses a, a pretty standard neutral grip as it has looked from the front. Um, for most players that go this way or slightly here, many of the great long drivers are using slightly stronger grips because they use a slightly different release pattern. But really the interest here is inside this hand. You could have possibly a finger grip, you could have a low palm grip or a high palm grip. Now for high palm grips are great for short game, chipping, little field shots but they're going to basically cut any real wrist movement out. Some players like finger grips if they want to maximise their power so that might be um, allowing you more wrist cock at the top of your swing and more wrist action through the shot but Joe works off a low mid-palm grip to maximise his wrist cock but still keep some control. 